it's also learnt. Uh, this is the most runs in uh, Anderson over in tests. And what I found very interesting about uh, what happened in this innings is that he went twice after uh, Anderson. So the first one was yesterday when he got a short ball that he tried to go up and over square leg with, didn't particularly middle it, um, hit it for six. Then when Anderson went wide and with a cutter outside off stump, he ran down the wicket and tried to heave it straight back over his head, got an edge which ran off for four. And then the next ball, Anderson went back to back of a length, which is the length he was trying to bowl and was just whacked away again. A be beautiful pull shot. That isn't even on this list because in, in that one, I think he probably only scored around 16 uh, runs. And, and you can see here uh, the, the over today when, when he went ballistic. And we'll talk about it more in a moment. But I just want to just quickly focus on this. I was at this game and... I remember when George Bailey hit all those runs off Jimmy Anderson. This was in 2013, and I honestly thought that George Bailey had ended uh, his career, right? Not ended his career as in he was a dud, but I just thought that Jimmy had done so much in cricket. You know, he was getting to that age when seamers sometimes start to look for other things. Um, you know, struggling away from home, it felt at that time. Uh, that was a mere 11 years ago. I've made, I've got some things wrong. I don't know if I'm ever going to... I got Steve Smith wrong. That and thinking Jimmy Anderson might be about to retire when his mate Swanee was retiring in 2013, 2014. Um, I don't think I've got things much more wrong than that before. The other